Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to the YouTube channel. It's pretty obvious by now that Israel is getting desperate. A wave of these super influencers is emerging and exposing the war crimes that Israel is committing against the Palestinians for decades now, which is affecting the squeaky clean image that Israel tries to portray in the media. Recently, artist Dua Lipa just like many other celebrities, use their social media accounts to defend the rights of the Palestinians while condemning the war crimes that Israel is committing against them. Now, the amazing thing that happened was that this message caused Israel to become super reflective. They, they realized what they were doing was wrong. And they thought to themselves that, hey, how can we actually improve? Because all these people are pointing fingers at us. That must mean that we're in the wrong. And, 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 and we are finally admitting to the fact that we need to stop this and give the Palestinians their rights. Just kidding. They called their anti-Semitic and kept it moving. Actually, they took it a step further, purchasing ad space in the New York Times, degrading Dua and other influencers who've been speaking up against them, which is gonna be in a separate video. Dua Lipa has 66 million followers on Instagram alone. That's nearly eight times the entire population of the illegal settlement of Israel. I mean, can you see why they wanna take her down? She has too much influence. So I contacted Doa via IG and showing my love and support towards her, letting her know that her work is not going unnoticed and reminding all of you out there to continue to put pressure on Israel's necks, the same way the IDF puts pressure on the Palestinians' necks. It's getting to them, they're cracking, they're becoming desperate. So let's continue to apply that pressure. And until next time, I'm out.